Hey, I'm RC and this is the episode 23 about creating a game in HTML5. So in this video, what I will be covering is sprite animation. So right now, as you can see, when the player moves around, there is no walking animation and the bats and bees don't actually fly. We simply draw the same image over and over. And in this video, I will change that so it, the, the game will look a lot better. So the first thing we will need to change is the images we are using. So right now we use a simple image um, that only shows one frame and we are going to change it for a sprite sheet instead. So a sprite sheet is basically an image with all the possible frame or position of a certain actor, for example, that bats. So this is a sprite sheet and I got one for every actor in the game. So one for the bat, one for the bee and one for the player. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. So as you can see, it's not really what we want. We don't want to draw the full image. We only want to draw one frame. And this is what we are going to do. So just a little reminder. So this is the formula used to draw an image. So we say what the image is, and then we need to specify um, the region we want to draw. So right now we say, hey, start at um, zero, zero. So right here, then we go all the way we want the width to be the full width, so image width, so we say that, and then image white, uh, height, so we actually draw the full thing. In our case, what we would want to do is to only draw the height divided by 4 and the width divided by 3. So if we save and we refresh, this is how it looks, so now it's a lot better. So now if we want to draw, let's say, um, the player looking down, we will need to specify to tell the, the computer that we don't want to start at 0, 0 and do the, the width divided by 3 and then the height divided by 4. We will want to start at here, so right in the middle. And this is what we are going to do next. So instead of starting at 0, 0, we are going to start at um, height divided by two. So if we save and we go back here, as you can see, the player is now looking down, which is a little bit better. It's exactly like we had at the beginning. So one problem we have right now is with the bullets. So as you can see, the bullets are kind of glitch and it's because the bullets um, don't have multiple frames. As you can see, there is only one frame. So if we only draw a small region of that bullet, it's just makes no sense. So what we are going to do to fix that problem is that right now we have modified the draw function of the entity. Entity is the bullet, the upgrade, the player, everything. And um, we are going to revert to take that function over there, draw, and instead of putting it into the entity, we're going to move it into the actor position. So right here. So now only and we are going to revert back um, the entity draw back to normal. So it was zero, zero, like this, like that. So if you're an entity, we draw exactly like before. But if you are an actor, then we override the, the regular draw function with this new draw. So if we save and we check it back, now the player is correct and the bullets are also correct. So right now in the game, we always face the down position. And this is because right here we said um, we want the region to be drawn to start at i divided by 2. So this region over there. So obviously, we will always draw this, um, this section over there. If we want to draw the top one, then we would put 0. So if we put 0 there, like we did at the beginning, then we would always draw this section over there. So basically, um, what we are going to do next is that depending on the aim and goal, we are going to draw different frames of the player. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a new variable called the, the frame width, which will be um, equal to the width divided by three. It's, it's going to make calculation a lot easier. And then we will also have the frame height, which will be the height divided by four. There we go. So basically, if we leave it that way, then we are going to draw this sprite over there. If we put um, height one times height, then it's going to draw this sprite over there. And if we put two times, it's going to draw this one, and three times, it's going to put this one. 
So now what we are going to do is to come up with some kind of formula that will um, calculate this value right there. So either 0, 1, 2, or 3, depending on the direction we want. So let's call it um, the direction mod. And here's the formula. So by default, um, let's assume that the player is looking to the right. Then if the angle is greater than 45 and less than 130, Five, then the player is looking down so the direction mod will be 2 and by doing that we are going to draw this sprite over there over here and why it's uh, 45 and 135 here's a little graph so this is um, the direction the player is in the middle so if the mouse is between this and that then we assume that the player is looking downwards now if we test this out um, it, it kind of works but not fully if we look up it does nothing if we look right it does nothing and this is because the angle is not always a positive so the formula we use right here assumes that the value is always positive but it's not the case by default so um, if we check the aim angle of the player right here it will be minus 97 this is 0 and this would be minus um, 90 so what we are going to do in order to fix that problem is um, we're going to add a variable that will be this, so the self angle, and if it's less than zero, then it means we are doing it the other way around, so it will be equal to this right here. There we go. And if you don't really understand the formula, it's not really that big of a deal, but by, by doing this little trick, the aim angle will always be a positive, and if we refresh, it will actually work. So as you can see, I move around, and everything is great, and it also works for the bats, because they also have a aim angle. So the next thing we are going to work on is the walking animation. So right now, we always draw the first frame. So we always draw one of those four sprites. So what we will want to do is to draw this sprite and then this one and then this one and then revert back to the beginning so it makes a walking animation and this is done with um, this parameter over there so it's the, the x position where we start to draw the, the image so we will need to come up with some kind of let's call it the walking mods which by default is zero right over there and this modifier which is 0 1 or 2 because we got three frames for the walking animation um, this one it's a bit tricky it's not linked with the angle we need to keep track of a counter that increase by one every single frame and yeah that's pretty much it so what we are going to do here is to add a new counter we'll call it let's call it the sprite anim counter that will be zero by default. And in the update loop over there, we are going to increase that um, counter by one. So plus equal one. There we go. And when we will want to draw it, we are simply going to do this over there. Uh, now, one problem obviously is that the anim counter will be greater than two. The maximum is two. So what we are going to do instead is to do a modulo three. If you remember correctly, what the modulo three does is that if um, it's um, three, then this will revert back to zero. Anyway, um, so it will work. It will make sure that the value is never over three. So here we go. If we place that here, refresh, there we go. So as you can see, the player is walking really, really fast. And this is because we are increasing the value by one every single frame. So instead, what we are going to do is to increase it by only 0 0.2. And here we are going to do a math floor. So we are going to round that number um, down to make sure that it's a um, integer. And then we are going to do the module of three. So there we go, it's five times slower and it works pretty nicely. Now one problem we have with the current system is that if the player is not moving, well, you're, you're not actually pressing any keys, the animation still goes on because we don't really consider if the player is moving or not. So normally in order to prevent that, we would be um, keeping track of the speed of the player and if the speed is greater than zero, then we do 
the animation so we increase the counter otherwise we would do nothing but we don't keep track of the speed so that's a little issue so what we are going to do to patch that um, it's not the most optimal thing um, maybe in the future we'll keep track of the speed of the player but for now what I'm going to do is to simply take this over there and instead of putting it into the update loop of the actor I'm going to place it into the update loop of the player over there and also in the update loop of the enemy. So right now I have changed exactly nothing. But what I'm going to do next is that in the player, in order to increase that value, the player will need to be pressing a position. So if it, he's pressing right or if he's pressing left or down or up, then we are going to increase the counter by 0 0.2. Otherwise, we are not going to increase it. So if we refresh, this is how it looks. So as you can see, the player is not walking, but if we walk, it actually starts walking. In the other end, the enemies, um, they, they always move because if we check over there in the enemy update loop, we increase the counter with no condition. So I guess that will be pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it. And don't forget to click the annotation on the screen to go check out the next episode. See ya.